Is it hot? I guess that was a stupid question for me, huh? So today we're out at the hives. You know this is not my favorite day. But you got oh. a suit today. Yes, sir. You see me? Got the drip. And I will run. Still. <laughs> I think we all, all already know that. Don't make no difference. Better safe. And stung. Here are the uh, infamous, dangerous. Look at it. They are out chill today. Yeah. I probably gonna gonna get my suit on. So they sting dark colors. You supposed to wear light colors. Find time to tell me. Yeah, I guess you gotta put the legs on first, huh? There's a jumpsuit. Them the only shoes you got. I got some boots. They, you think they'll sting my feet too? They'll like, sting whatever they can get to. Well, not if I'm running. <laughs> All right. And not if I'm running. You All can't right. sting if it's moving. It can't All right, sting. you try to run in them Crocs. <laughs> I'll be across there in my socks. And muddy. it's muddy out here. Across <laughs> there, you think I... He's a runner, he's a jerk. Oh. <laughs> they probably gonna be how <laughs> I know my ankles gonna get tore up. <laughs> Why you should put your boots on? Mm, that might be too little for you. <laughs> oh, that's it. There you go. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> How you put this at him? Try to unzip that. You gotta unzip it, BJ. Oh, I see. It's a zip on each. It's two zippers. It's one on each side. You feel the zipper right there? Safe. You should. Then you gotta make sure that goes inside so they can't get in my neck. Yeah. And then you zip, make sure the zippers are zipped around so they can't get inside of your suit. Because the last thing you want a bee to do is to get inside of there with you. And I can't run out of here. Nope, sure can't. That's a wash. Like, why well, I feel like this is some Kanye wet to the dog on fashion show. Hold on, I'm about to get a, a Kanye outfit. Look, he these the boots he wear. So I'm like this. <laughs> this ain't no Kanye outfit. Yeah. Next year when Kanye rock, rocking this suit, <laughs> I need y'all to go back. With Kanye rocking this suit right here. Everybody gonna be wearing sitting, one. Sitting, at, sitting at the Lakers game with his kids. With Kanye wearing this fit right here. Y'all know where it came from. Tell me, that hive is so aggressive. They look like they ready for it. All the smoke, literally. The smoke. Today I'm gonna work on staying calm. Even though I have a real phobia of bees. You should be all right today, you got to I mean, they were in my hair, I'm telling you. They were definitely in my hair. So, the actual plan for today is, as you can see, how we have some grass and stuff that's grown up around. We really want to kind of take the hives up 
and we're gonna lay down some plastic and potentially at some point maybe some gravel but lay down plastic so that we don't have to have an issue with grass going up between the hives and having to worry about coming through here with like a mower because that kind of disturbs the bees and gets them riled up makes them angry so and get you stung nobody wants to mow over here when i ask them to so um, <laughs> last summer the grass had gotten up to like this high and i could barely walk over here and that also helps with high beetles because they have to the larva has to fall into the ground to continue its um growing process and so if the plastic is covering the ground then that means that it cannot um fully germinate so that's what we're planning to do today hopefully nobody gets hurt the approach to the beehive last time i was here yes look how they're coming out Yo, smoke ain't smoking. Get here, man. Let me keep pumping it. Let me just keep pumping. Here, I, I'll pump it. Because we can't let them get excited. Oh, shoot. Why are you sure there ain't bees in that one? Oh God. They still coming out. Oh, here they come. So, Keith, so what what are you about to do right this second? Because this pod is now potentially empty and we have a case of um, robbing some other some of the other hives, which just means that the bees from the other hive are taking the honey that's in this hive. Um, and it's sitting vacant. Um, there's oh. a potential that you could have an issue with like wax moths. Um, so we're just kind of making sure that we don't have that going on. Well, wow, it's um, a lot of bees in there. You sure that won't? Look <laughs> at You wanna um stupid stuff. I wonder I can't see. What? I had these sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> If people knew the fear I had right this second. And see all of this stuff around the edges, mm -hmm. um, that's what they use to kind of stick the hive together, which is why you have to have this little tool because oh. nothing comes out easily. Is they on me? Are they on me? No, we don't. They're not on me. <laughs> Look down See, this has honey in it. So, there is some honey. Down in there. Are they stealing? Or is this production? 
Uh, that probably is for me. Really, I need to get into the... The bottom part? Mm -hmm. I think it came loose on this. No smoke, no smoke. I don't think it really matters. I don't think it's dangerous. But it was practice. <laughs> it's practice. Oh. So they had filled those, right? Turn it so we can see. So they, this is getting robbed. A lot of them died down in there. Mm -hmm. You can see down there, man. Those are bees. So what are you gonna do like with the little slide things? What are those things called anyway? With these? Yeah. Frames. Oh, frames. You gonna take the frames and freeze them? Um, it doesn't really look like they have. Cause really, when you put new bees in, they are pretty efficient about cleaning it up. Um, but you do want to make sure that there isn't any. Um, There are no pests living in them, so it is a good idea to freeze the brains from what I've read. You know one thing, they split this sweet together here. So this bee right here. What's going on right there? What are you doing? Looks like he died. It's like he stung himself, look like. What is going on, bro? My sister, because they're all females. So at one point, you could have taken that and eaten that, right? Well, normally in this one right here mm -hmm. is where they would have been like laying. Eggs and stuff. The, yeah, the queen would have been laying the eggs. So we're done with hive one. We're going to take this one? Yeah, we'll check this one. When it comes to like winter time, mm -hmm. all right, we know that this hive right here vacated mm -hmm. for whatever reason. So now what we have is another hive robbing this hive. Mm -hmm. well, I won't say robbing because they ain't there. They can't, you got to rob them. It's, it's the term is used. It, it, that's the term is used? Mm -hmm. Dang, okay, look at me. All right, but they, so when they, now they're foraging there and they're taking the honey from this hive that left. Whoa. And so now that I guess it's be beginning to become spring, they are they eating that honey or are they taking it for storage? Well, I'll preface this, preface this by saying that I'm not the bee expert yet, but typically, bees don't operate as a all about me type situation so when they go out they're doing whatever they're doing to benefit the hive as a whole so my answer would be they're getting the honey to take it back to feed the hive what normally happens is um, coming out of the winter time a lot of times or even in the winter time, hives, a lot of hives may starve because they go through their honey stores and if the um, beekeeper doesn't check or isn't cognizant of how much honey they have and they don't supplement their food, then they'll run out. And they can supplement by giving them bee patties, um, pollen patties, or you know some type of sugar syrup or uh, solid sugar usually in the winter time um, coming out of the winter time like we've had 
when it starts getting warm, things start blooming. Um, you can go through a period of dirt where it gets warm, the bees will, will start coming out, they become more active, so they need food. But you're kind of in a period where you're waiting for things to kind of like Bloom. really start blooming and you know pollen to and nectar and things to become plentiful enough for them to make enough food and they actually have to make the food so during those times it's up to the beekeeper to actually supplement their food so this time of year most beekeepers would supplement with like a sugar syrup because during different times of year you supplement with different types of food winter time it's more of a like solid type food this time of year you do more like of a sugar syrup. liquid um so in the times of dearth where there's either like not a, <clears throat> not a lot um blooming or enough ready for them to enough plentiful sources for their food yet that's when you have to supplement so that would be now and that's also when a lot of robbing goes on where they'll go to other hives even sometimes hives that are actually so even, let's say that hive was full of bees or actually still occupied mm -hmm. but it was a weak hive sometimes bees like that hive is pretty aggressive so super aggressive. If a, if super a bee, aggressive. If a more aggressive hive finds a weaker hive, they will still try to they may still try to go rob a hive that they know is weaker of their resources if there's not enough, you know. So they're gonna hit a lick. Yeah. But essentially, <laughs> essentially they will. We, so, we 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 starving over here. Y'all gotta come up off. Pretty much. That's I mean So is it like a fight that takes place in there or they just I mean, kinda let them in and out? They would, I mean, they will pr try to protect if they know that that bee doesn't belong there. Or sometimes you have like uh, other insects, like you might have yellow jackets or, um, cause I think I saw a video online where like a hornet or a yellow jacket or something went into a beehive, you know, and the bees attacked the um, yellow jacket. So they will try to protect their, their, their um, storage. But again, if it's a weak hive and you know, it's not enough bees in the hive to properly protect what they have, then sometimes they're not successful. So, you know, it happens. Um, you want to so. smoke this? Because this smoke going out, I think. Um. Yeah, you might want to pump them. So. The left hand ain't nothing. <laughs> So yeah, it does happen. So and fall is another time where you often experience you may experience dirt when things are starting to die off. So you have to supplement with feed like one into one time. And you want to make sure um You gonna try to text with the glove? It's mama. So what is like, why does that have a hole in it? My best guess is that there may have been a wax moth infestation um, at some point. And essentially what wax moths do is they come in and they eat the wax, they eat the honey, they'll eat the bee larva. Um, and they can be rather destructive. What I really think may have happened and why it didn't get too bad where because if you google wax moths in a beehive and see what it looks like it can look really really gross and like slimy and it can get nasty um i'm not 100 percent sure that that's what happened but the fact that a lot of the wax is eaten holes through but it doesn't look like it got too bad and probably what happened is one of the stretches where we had kind of warm weather it could have happened but then it got back down to um below freezing and they froze and died and so it didn't get like really really bad where it completely just destroyed the so, frame so it would eat the whole frame up it like they can overtake the frame where they have laid um 
lay eggs and their larvae just like cover the frames and it'll get like really slimy and nasty. Yeah. If you Google it and see the pictures, then you can see what I'm talking about. Um, here it just looks like they may have just came to eat. Yeah, just came to eat. So here it's not like these frames. It doesn't look like these frames would be a total loss. I'm going to have to, um, you know, do a bit of reading and consult with my mentor some on this. But um, typically in most situations with most things, when you put bees back in the hive, they can clean up whatever's there um so as long as whatever's in here is not still living um and with most of a lot of stuff you can freeze the frames and it'll kill whatever's there and then the bees will so, so they so bees will just pick up like you said just pick up from this spot right mm -hmm. and they'll build, like, build, fix that it. and then mm -hmm. so they doing like flip this home like, renovation oh, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna flip this house Basically, gotcha. you do. All right. So I'm really excited that next week my top bar hive comes. So that will be a new, a new hive, a new adventure. Hold on. Why are you trying to go to the last one? <laughs> Not the beekeeper okay. though. I mean, I don't know, but I don't know. What? That one is thriving. Yeah, that one good. I'm really just trying to assess what what all I gotta do to do before. For your bees get here. Work I need to do. We probably need to check the hive over on the farm. Okay, and this one has some dead bees at the bottom. Oh, this one right here is this one right here hot. Hey, you want this thing? Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, because smoke. smoke ain't doing nothing. It seems like there's a lot more in here. Maybe. Maybe. It's a lot of dead ones. It's about... So when they when they die, do they bring them out? They do. Oh, they do. They have what's called cleansing site. And they just take them out and drop them on the ground, or they like like look at how many right there on the on the ground. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. They bring them out. Really die. I am terrible. This one, this one's still hot. I think this might be the right one. Let me see. Still a lot of honey in this one? Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm trying to do the same. There we go. You must not be. You gotta push it hard. Push it hard. Yeah. They got an electric smoker. I'm talking about it. <laughs> 
Forget the old school. Hey, you wanna, um... Wow, it's a lot of bees in here. It is. But it's a lot of honey in here too. So Are we gonna take it out? I'm gonna pull out a couple of things. People, if you can see all of these flying around. And he not running and screaming today. Yeah. He's making progress. Might make a beekeeper out of them. No. I have no desire. Well, you out here. I'm doing this for you. Okay. Risking my life for you. Okay. I will never get any bees. Ever. Okay. Well, you see them. I can't do it. My nerve. Like, I can't to touch. I can't touch. Like, I can't touch. That's the thing.